Hi, this is uh, Tutor Nick P, and this is lesson 417. Uh, today, the title of the lesson is The Difference Between Clothing, Apparel, and Attire. All right, now, sometimes students will ask, what's the difference between these three? There is a little bit of crossover, but I'll try to explain it in a way where you might be more likely to use it in one situation than another. Okay, let's look at the first one. Uh, clothing used in business uh, and as something people need. All right, we say it's used in business. Like when you go to an everyday store, you know, a common store like Walmart or something, they might say, you know, that's uh, women's clothing, that's men's clothing, children's clothing, uh, something like that. So that's the way we use it for, you know, common clothing in business. Okay. Uh, it is a more formal word for clothes and is sometimes used for particular types, such as waterproof clothing, protective clothing, outdoor clothing, uh, things along that, you know, etc. Uh, let's continue. Uh, all right, we have, uh, we have some examples here of the way we would use it. The women's clothing section is located at the far end of the store, or the children's located, uh, the children's clothing section is located, you know, near the front of the store. You know, something like that. Uh, all right, let's continue. Fishermen sometimes use waterproof clothing, you know, just like particular types. Uh, food and clothing were sent to victims of that earthquake. Now, this is the situation where clothes, we use the word clothing for clothes that somebody needs, you know, that uh, it's like something needed. If you're just talking about your regular wardrobe, people usually just use the word clothes most often, like the, those. that's my clothes, that's his clothes, my brother's clothes, sister's clothes. We probably just use the word clothes more than any other. All right, let's continue. Uh, the clothing industry, again, like for business, the clothing industry wants the government to impose more duties on imports. Well, maybe this is the clothing industry in a particular company, uh, a country, and they don't like the competition. They don't like cheaper clothes coming in from other countries, so uh, they think it's too unfair, so they might try to lobby the government to put more duty on imports. Okay, right, let's continue. Um, all right, now we're up to apparel. Apparel is a word, especially in American English, uh, that is used... Uh, that is used especially for business for nicer, more high-class clothes. So apparel is more limited to just business, but as opposed to clothing, if you want your clothing to sound nicer or more high-class or more high-level, you might use the word apparel instead of just clothing by itself. You know, each store, you know, has their own reasons for using it, so it's hard to pinpoint this, but the word apparel does make it sound like it's a more formal or more nicer class of clothes are probably more expensive. Okay, let's continue. Um, all right, and we have some examples here. Um, that boutique specializes in imported women's apparel from Italy. Again, making it sound more expensive. Nike just usually focuses on sports apparel. Now, to be honest, uh, you know, they have sportswear, which is more casual. But Nike tries to make itself appear more high class and has higher prices on their sportswear than other companies. So they might use it for that reason. All right, let's continue. Uh, attire. Okay. Uh, the word attire is often used about the level of somebody's clothes or somebody's dress or how proper or how suitable uh, for particular occasions. Okay. It can also be used for certain categories, such as dance attire, wedding attire, etc. Okay, good. And we have several examples. This is probably the most common one you will hear. Like when you enter a restaurant, sometimes they may have a sign, proper attire is required, especially if it's a high-class restaurant that wants like a man to wear a jacket or a tie or something like that. Uh, of course, they can make up their own rules about what's acceptable or not. Uh, let's continue. If you are going to an award show, you must wear formal attire. So this is in the sense of how suitable it is. Uh, the next one, that wedding show has a large selection of wedding attire. Again, you know, suitable for certain occasions. And the last one we might have here, uh, flip-flops and bathing suits are not proper attire for this restaurant. Yeah, I've often heard that restaurants around beach areas 
uh, have to be concerned because some people think they're on vacation and they think they could come right off the beach and sometimes they'll even walk into the restaurant barefoot, you know, <laughs> or just flip flops, you know, uh, maybe for the reason of hygiene, they don't want them to do that. They want them to at least be wearing, you know, some normal shoes or don't just come in in your bathing suit or especially not just in a bikini or something and <laughs> sit down. Uh, again, they might not think that's the proper hygiene. So that's a way that you might see it written. Okay. Anyway, uh, I hope you got it. I hope it's formative. I hope it's helpful. So now you can kind of see how you're more likely to use one than the other. Uh, thank you for your time. Bye-bye.